According to HobbyLobbyAddicts.com, 72% of all test subjects that they tested wanted to paint furniture white. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. I made that whole thing up. Well, except for my house. We paint everything white. As you can see here, this is our dining room, and my wife wanted her dining room chairs painted white. These things were an ugly brown color, and I have to admit, they did not go with our decor. So, what did we do? Made a weekend out of it and painted these bad boys white. Technically, it wasn't a weekend. It was just one day, and it was pretty quick doing it with this method. Now, there's tons of videos out there on YouTube and whatnot that show people painting their dining room furniture or some other techniques of whatever they're painting. I'm here to tell you, as somebody who's painted cars for a living several years, prep is key. These folks that are saying they're not scuffing their chairs or not deglossing the paint, well, they may not be, but are they telling you how long this stuff will last? And I know chalk paint is supposed to be the magical stuff that you know, some fairy dropped off a few years back that never, you don't have to do any prep work, I'm telling you. Anything paint related, if you want it to stick to the structure of the, whatever you're working on, depending on what was painted before, what's underneath of it, it's all about the prep. Regardless of how I feel about prep work, my, my wife's the boss on this job. She said she was ready to paint. She didn't feel like prepping anymore, so we stopped here. I'm gonna introduce you to two products that I suggest you use when it comes time to prepping in case you're wanting to paint without sanding. At minimum, at minimum, you at least need to clean your furniture. And I recommend using the TSP product mixed with water. It absolutely cleans all the gunk and stuff off your, off of whatever it is you're painting. The magic pill to all this, I use this. This stuff I swear by. Zisner B-I-N, shellac-based interior and spot primer. All right. Notice what it says right here. Sticks to all surfaces, seals, knots, dries in 45 minutes, blocks odors, white, and it is tintable. Now, another spot on here will say priming inside, great for priming inside new wood enamel, slick surfaces like paneling, for mica, glossy paints, and varnishes, even tile right here on the priming section without sanding. Notice right there without sanding or deglossing. So this bin primer is good because it will be able to do what you need it to do without having to sand or degloss and all the product links will be down in the description below make sure you're doing something at a minimum that helps it heat you know, helps adhere the paint to whatever it is you're painting i promise you six months later when your cousin eddie sits down and drags his keys across it and it peels up like a blister you'll thank me Now, it's just the same process on every chair, smooth, even coats until you get nice coverage. I ended up doing two coats on these chairs to get the coverage we needed. You know, chairs are difficult. You've got round legs. Sometimes you've got square legs. The edges, the angles, you know, sometimes they'll be thin. You, out in the sun, you may get spots that didn't get as much coverage. So you gotta pay attention to that stuff. You know, just, just take your time. You're gonna do the, you know, on their tops or on the on their backs like this. You spray them, then you stand them up and spray the tops and the backs and make them look really good. It's pretty much an easy process. Okay, so 
Okay, so after one coat, my wife decided she liked the Ben primer better, the color better. So we're just gonna paint that with two coats, call it a day. Now, you're probably wondering what I meant by liked it better. Well, originally we were gonna use a eggshell regular latex primer for these chairs. And once I started with the Ben primer, she absolutely fell in love with the matte, super matte finish on it. So that's why we went with just the primer. Just take the Verithane polyurethane, water-based and matte, and use it as our top coat. Spray on three nice coats of polyurethane. This is the water based again, matte finish. Spray the first couple of coats you can spray on the light, the last coat if you want to make it a heavier coat, um, that's fine. But don't, you know, follow the direction on the cans and you should be fine. It's pretty easy to do, especially if you're spraying it. You can also brush it on, roll it on, that kind of thing. But with chairs, your best bet is going to be to spray it.